Hi, Ate Anna. <laughs> Thank you for this. Okay, tell us about your life in Siargao. Like, a day in a life. Itour mo kami. How, what do you do in the morning hanggang gabi? Well, I wake, well, we wake up early there. Earlier than How here early? in the city. As, as in, yung naiinis na sila, sila sa akin na late daw ako magising. And that, na late daw ako magising palagi. And that's 7 a.m. Like, I will wake up every day at 7 a.m. And that's so late for them. <laughs> Tapos, I just, it's so nice every morning, especially if it's sunny. Which it is most of the time of the year. Um, we walk around and then we live near the beach and near Cloud Nine, which is like the parang the famous spot in Shigao. We walk and then sometimes if kaya ni ng katawan tumayo, we wait for the sunrise and then. We go to this bakery that's my favorite. It's called Kawai and Gorman. They have the best croissants. So I have that almost every morning. Especially my daughter Ellie loves it also. Loves going to that bakery. So breakfast ganun sobrang laid back lang ng buhay namin doon and casual. Kung ano yung maiisipan namin gawin or pag may makita kami kasi syempre tourists come and go eh. It's either we I see old friends or I meet new friends from all around the world and then we hang out with them ganyan we go we go out to the market changge in yun yung tawag namin sa bisaya um by the beach we buy fresh um freshly caught fish sometimes we catch them uh, we catch it ourselves my my boyfriend filmer one of his favorite hobbies is spear fishing so ano exciting kasi ako naman mahilig magluto so magka-catch siya ng food tapos kagawin ko i prepare ko and then kukuha na lang kami ng mga gulay ganyan prutas so expert ka na magluto ng fish mm mm <laughs> tas pe- pescatarian pa kami for a long time until i got pregnant so talagang yun lang yung kinakain namin seafood lang talaga and vegetables tsaka fruit tapos walang ano doon walang fast food restaurants yo may may tindahan ng mga ano junk food pero iniiwasan namin kasi yung anak ko mahilig sa junk food. <laughs> Tapos yun, we surf, we surf, we stay in the ocean all day. <laughs> yun yung exercise ko. So, ikaw sa show, in love na in love ka sa Siargao, besides Philmar. <laughs> Super! I fell in love with the island first. <laughs> Before, I fell in love with the people there. <laughs> so, people there are used to you now, yung mga locals? Locals, yes. All locals. Especially, like, uh, all locals, they... They're my friends, or they know me. They know I'm, I'm from there. Na, pagka usually may mga lumalab, almawa yung mga surf instructor. Nandul lang ako sa dagat tapos may mga inutruan sila na mga dayo na magasi lang mga picture. Tapos parang sabiin lang nila like, oh, dito yun nakatire. <laughs> parang di sila, di na nila ako tinitreat like I'm, an, I'm a different person. They treat me like I'm one of them, which is also one thing that I love. Actually. Even when I was new, eh, hindi masyadong nasa culture ng mga taga Shargao yung mahilig sa artista per se. Kasi, um, hindi naman sila masyadong nasa loob ng bahay, tsaka nagti-TV. Palagi silang nasa labas. Ang ganda-ganda ng paraiso nila. Tapos, sa labas, sa loob lang sila ng bahay. So, how's your house coming along? Oh, it's doing really great. It's going faster than I have expected. Um, super excited. Kasi, you know, it's her dream house. It started from scratch, and it started as like a s- simpler dream of mine in Balair, a vacation home. And then I wanted to move away na, and then um, eventually it became like I reached the dream pinaka dream ko, which is to live in Shargao, which is paradise for me. So scrap na si Balair. Um, it's still there, Balair, but then my priority is Shargao because that's where I'm building my family and. Um, gusto ko na rin samahan ng um, bed and breakfast yung bahay, yung lugar kung saan kami nagpapatayo para um, kumikita na rin kasi syempre I'm about to have two kids. <laughs> so may space na parang pang pamilya nyo and then may space na for rent. Out. Yes. Okay, what? So, <laughs> Pero we're doing it little by little. For um, the first structure na yung tinayo namin, ano, four rooms siya with a roof deck. Tapos outdoor kitchen. Pero Doon sa iba, malaki pa yung space. Magda, nagpa-plan pa kami magpatayo ng siguro total of six more um, villas. Oh, wow. So, ano to? Kayo naghanap ng space na itong maganda? Mm, sa, sa, kay Filmar siya talaga. Ah, okay. Si Filmar yung boyfriend ko. Okay. 
how do you rate your surfing skills now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've definitely gotten so much better since my coach is one of the best surfers in Asia. <laughs> but, ano, siguro, sabi ko, yung story ko ganito, bago ako mag- maging pregnant, nagsasurf na ako palagi, um, bibigyan ko na sa yung seven. And, dahil lang, ano ah, kind, ano, humble. <laughs> Humble. <laughs> Pero nung nagkaroon ako ng baby sa Chan, sabi ko na ako, nagkaroon ako ng surfing powers kasi may lahing surfer na ako sa Chan. So, kahit buntis ako, mas gumaling, mas nag-improve pa ako. So, so naging 8.5 na ako. This is for me, ah. <laughs> oh, mas magaling pa si Ellie. Nakaka-tricks-tricks na ako kahit pa paano naman. <laughs> mas magaling pa si Ellie sa'yo. <laughs> hindi naman. <laughs> Pero magaling din si Ellie. Pero nung hindi ka pa pregnant, how often do you visit Manila? Paano yung buhay mo? Um, it's still the same as now, because what people think is that um, talagang completely pumunta na ako doon, tapos never na akong bumalik dito. But then, you know, as much as I w- I'm trying to chase after my dreams, and I'm really happy there, hindi naman pwedeng bumalik tad agad lahat yung life ko. So, half and half, because Ellie still studies here in Manila, I still have to come home. But I spent most, I mean, but most of my life is there na talaga kasi parang dun yung, yung dun ako nag-build ng hanap buhay, dun na yung mga kaibigan ko, and si Ellie, yung heart niya nandun din sa Siargao. As in, each time we come home, pag day na na, pag one day na lang natitira, iiyak yun talaga. As in, yung iyak na sobra kasi hindi niya maintindihan kung ba't kailangan pang bumalik dito. Although, what makes her feel better is realizing, oh wait, my dad's here, and my nanay, my my mom. So, makes her realize, okay, sige, uwi, na, uwi tayo sa Manila. But then, I hope that eventually, I'll be able to completely move and place my family and my life there. Kasi, um, dun, ko, dun, dun talaga namin gusto. So, at what point in your life did you realize na you wanted to be an island girl? I've realized it as early as before, but even before I became a celebrity, um, one of my goals, as in as a young, younger girl, is to just like save enough money, become successful, work hard, and then yung end point ko, yung long term goal ko, beach house talaga, or like cliff house by the beach, yun talaga ever since. And I thought that I needed to attain so much in my life before I got there, without realizing na hindi ko pala kailangan yung sobrang daming pera ganyan para maabot yun. And Nag- nagiging kakaiba lang masyado for people kasi for most of the people in our country, they believe that Manila is where your dreams come true or Manila is where what gives you a good job or a better life. But to me, it's not the case. And Philippines has so much more to offer than what Manila has. And I found it in in Siargao. I found that for myself. Among the so many islands. So yeah. Sure like, I've been to almost everywhere yeah. since I had our travel show here in Viva. But, it's, there's no place like Shargao for me. Why? I don't know. I feel like, it's not that I'd expect everyone to feel the same way I did. But when I went to Shargao for the first time, um, I connected. I connected with the place and the island and the culture very much. As in, people there are so laid back and very tradition and traditional but at the same time was um forward uh, ahead yung pag-iisip nila kasi um westernized very westernized siya dahil ang daming foreigners na nauna pa and living there it's like you're not in the Philippines kasi mas maraming foreigner not that i like it better that way but maybe with my upbringing um mas madali for me to relate with that type of culture than here, than um, here in Manila. Balikan ko lang yung house, ha? How hands-on are you sa pagde-design? Um, can you give us a preview? Oh, my one of my childhood friends, she offered to help me in terms of architecture. Kasi wala akong alam dun sa paggawa ng structure. So, siya yung gu- naggawa ng design sa computer niya. But the interiors, everything, that's all me. And oh, yung, yung feel na gusto ka, ako yung lahat nag-design. Ako yung bibili ng lahat ng furniture. Kasi... Mahilig talaga ako sa ano, home design. So, so I'm ano, super excited. Konting preview. Well, I'm just... Kasi for me yun, naniniwala ako na hindi mo kailangan nga ng maraming pera para gumawa ng bagay na maganda. And so, with a really... With a budget, like the money that I have, that I have 
that I was able to keep from being an artista. I put everything there. Um, and using the cheapest materials, I hope na maka-achieve, ma-achieve namin yung super um, luxurious feel na minim- very minimalist and bohemian mm-hmm. because also we'll be having guests, diba, since we're in bed and breakfast siya. Sana, makita rin, mafili na. <laughs> Sana ma-achieve ko siya. Pero like example, we'll be planting our own plants mm-hmm. in it. Kami yung gagawa yung garden and all. Yung wood namin, recycled wood. Um, we'll be using a lot of cement since that's the mm-hmm. cheapest. Pero glass, kasi natural, lo- natural light yung gusto ko. Very island vibes. Simple lang. <laughs> So, showbiz ba na sa agenda mo pa? Um, I still, I'm super excited to make movies still. It's one thing that I miss. You know, being in Siargao, we have cable but only Signal signal TV, Viva Channel. Charot! <laughs> um, pero, bigla akong naging, I never really watched my own movies or my own shows before, but I've been so into watching Pino, Pinoy Box Office. <laughs> Especially if it's, ano, um, Drekwen movies na pinapalabas. So, watching it, namimiss ko. Pero ang namimiss ko talaga is yung paggawa ng pelikula, buhay pelikula, um, hang out with people on set, the crew. Yun. Yung part na yun. <laughs> yung paggawa, pag, ano, paggawa ng craft, pag-craft ng isang um, project na para sa mga tao. Yun yung namimiss ko. And so, Definitely, yung mindset ko is, pag pangan ako, since dito lang muna kami sa Manila, kailangan ready na ako. <laughs> Mag-movie ulit. <laughs> mm, that's good. Pero ano, na-find ko na talaga yung balance ng pagtatrabaho and pagiging full-time mom. Kasi yun talaga yung priority ko. So, how's the arrangement for Ellie? Paano yung body? Balik, balik. Um, so far, we'll still do the same thing kasi syempre dito siya nag And the baby will be so young. Mm-hmm. Dito ako mga nganak. So dito lang, sakto, that's the start of Ellie's school. Mm-hmm. So magsasummer kami sa Siargao since wala siyang pasok. Pero babalik kami dito, dito muna kami. And then maybe by, by her birthday, November, makakapag-Siargao na kami ulit kasi yun lang yung wish niya. Mm-hmm. And Christmas. Pero, um, Yung dad niya kasi rin, yung setup namin is half half and half naman. 10 days sa kanya, 20 days sa akin, or 2 weeks, 2 weeks. So, yung times na nandun siya sa dad niya, pwede akong nasa Siargao. Yung times na, na nasa akin siya, pag wala siyang pasok, nasa Siargao kami. Pag may pasok siya, nandito kami. Ganun, I mean, for now, kailangan ko mag-settle for that kasi... Hindi ko kaya na long distance kami ni Ellie. Like, yung two weeks na hindi kami magkita, ano na yun? Umiiyak na ako nun. <laughs> Siargao is not the same without Ellie. <laughs> Pero marami na totoo na parang you and Jake, um, parang you've come to terms with your situation. Tapos friends, parang friends na kayo, no? Um, we're not friends. Ah, you're not friends. No, we're not friends. Pero, ano, I mean, I'm naturally open and talkative. <laughs> So when we see each other, I just tell him random stories, and he seems to be engaged, the man. Because he's more, ano, she's quiet, she's a person. So you know, yung pinaka relationship naman. But I like it, and I appreciate it because um, I know that even if we don't communicate that much, other than things about Ellie, um, we both have the same priorities, and so we may be so different as parents. Um, you know, I'm on more new age, and he's probably more traditional given his the way his parents are um but i feel like it works well for ellie and you know and we're racing up and she's a good kid so i feel like you know parang i don't want to take 100 percent of the credit i know that jake has been a good dad to ellie also so kung paano man sila sa kanilang bahay na appreciate ko yun pero pa- parang papunta naman na kayo sa friendship Sana, like I, he was one of the first people to find out that I was pregnant. I don't know. Yeah, because my daughter was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> because Ellie was the first to know. Tapos na excited siya. So yun, I, ano naman, masarap naman yung feeling na um, he seemed to be happy for me and Ellie. And he's so considerate. Kahit na gusto niyang hiramin si Ellie or what not, considerate siya na pregnant ako, so... Mas kailangan mag-adjust ng konti. 
So, parang cute kayo tingnan na parang kayo si Augie and Michelle. Si no, na- that's me and my boyfriend, Philmar. My my friend said, we're like Manolo and Michelle. You know that movie, Manolo and Michelle? Yung mermaid siya ka-provinciano. Um, 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 <laughs> so, diba, um, parang kami daw yun, tapos pinanood ko. <laughs> parang kami nga. <laughs> Hindi, I mean, yung relationship nyo, yung parang Friends. extended family, si, like si na Jody and Iwa, mm. Iwamoto. I hope it gets to a point, I mean, I'd be open to it getting to a point like that. I also would want Jake to, ano eh, come to Siargao. Mm. Or his mom. So that, para sa akin, it's a way na maging kampante sila na kahit hindi sila nandun, nakikita nila ano ba yung buhay namin doon and kung bakit gustong gusto ko doon. Ang sarap magpalaki ng baby, ang sarap magpa- magkaroon ng family sa Siargao and yung community namin doon, it's so united. Tapos lahat moms. So, ano, nakaka- motivate. Paano binabalansin ni Ellie yung pag nasa dad niya siya parang posh life, pagdating sa iyo simple life. Hindi ko alam sa kanya. <laughs> Actually hindi ko alam sa kanya. <laughs> hindi Nung siya na ko. Na parang... Kasi mahilig siya mag-skate, mahilig siya mag-surf sobra, pero alam ko hindi naman niya ginagawa 'yon sa ang mention niya sa akin, hindi daw siya pinapayagan ng dad niya mag-skate kasi natatakot, mahulog. Mm-hmm. And since hindi naman nagsi-skate yung dad niya, ayoko rin. Kasi ako marunong ako, so kaya ko siyang i-guide. Pero pag hindi marunong yung kasama mo, di ba? Nakakatakot. Yun, sinasabi niya yun. Pero feeling ko, um, yung nice thing nga is, both of us are very open and I feel like they also entertain the fact that these are Ellie's interests. Um, so, and also because, yes, kahit anong sabihin nila, Porsche talaga yung family nila, pero wala yun sa pag-uugali nila eh. It's not in there, it's, especially Jake. Um, when I don't think I would ever end up dating him if <laughs> ganun yung pag-iisip niya na parang posh um, or um, socialite. Hindi, hindi ganun yung tingin niya sa sarili niya. Simple yung tao lang siya and very casual and rugged and as much as she's treated like a princess, she's very vocal about saying, I'm not a princess. I'm a mermaid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, nire-respect naman nila yun. So, seven na si Ellie, no? Paano na buo yung party niya? Kanino ay hindi? Ay, si Jake yun. Kasi ako, ang gift ko kay Ali is travel. Yun ang hiningi niya sa akin. And sila Jake, seventh birthday, yun nga, tra- mas traditional sila. Di ba pag seven, magpapaparty ka. So, si Jake yun. Tapos in-invite niya ako. Sinali niya lang ako. And yung family ko. Ang cute. Mm-mm. So, ako naman, sure, sali kami. <laughs> Attendee lang kami. So, asaya-saya ni Ellie, no? <laughs> Mm-mm, ako rin. Ang fun ng party, super. 